So um, the next step is um, how to prepare the portable print print bed. Um, so for the for the for the print bed, you need a piece of wood, and I would recommend that the wood is not too thick and uh, not too hard, and it should be ideally a little bit uh, bigger than your felt. Uh, this is not so ideal, but it's still okay, I would say. And before you apply the felt on the wood, um, I have a piece of plastic. You can use um, uh, a plastic from um, a, a plastic bag, or uh, this is from a piece from a gift. Um, roll of uh, transparency for, uh, for the gifts um, and you cut it a little bit smaller than your actual piece of wood and so this is good and then you take the plate um, that you want to print and a piece of um, pencil mm -hmm. <coughs> so, um, so you put your plate on the transparency Place the ink, inked plate later, and you can take it off and turn it upside down. And now you can tape it on your wooden board. This. Now you can clean uh, the transparency after printing uh, without removing um, the Sharpie lines. And after that, it's okay with the paper. This is still okay. And now you have your felt and place it approximately in the so the plate is in the center and then I pin it with some push pins. Okay. So now we pre have prepared this and you can open the, um, the print bed, put your inked plate here, put another piece of paper on top and uh, put on the felt. And I would um, suggest to print from this side. So I mark it like this. So print from this side um, because here this side is more stable than the other side. Okay. Okay. Questions? 
What if I don't have a felt? Um, every student has a felt. Ah, okay. I prepared some ah, intaglio kits okay. for printing at home. Perfect.